Hey guys. Okay, so today we're going to talk about B2B versus B2C copywriting. Um, what are they? What do they mean? And what you should know about it. So the definitions are actually pretty simple. B2B means business to business. So businesses that sell to other businesses. And B2C means business to consumers. So businesses that sell to consumers. So B2B could be... Um, software it could be you know uh, i'm trying to think of of okay so one software company makes a kind of software that is only for large corporations or, or you mainly use by large corporations so one one business selling to another business um, and software is just one example there are all kinds of of b2b businesses b2c is a step that we tend to be more familiar with because they're trying to sell to us um, really anything that consumers buy if it's the the business that sells it is a b2c business now there are some businesses that are b2b and b2c they have a b2b division and a b2c division um, for example, uh, something like IBM. We know, do they still have B2C? Okay, let's, let's imagine back when they used to make computers. <laughs> I'm feeling old, my birthday's coming up. Um, so again, let's imagine back when they used to make computers, but uh, IBM would have a large corporate division because they would sell computers and they would sell software and they would sell all kinds of big stuff to companies. So that was their B2B. Or a section, a portion of the company, and then when they sold computers to consumers, that would be the B two C portion of. What's wrong with me today? Portion of the business. Okay, so now, what I want you now we've got the definitions down. Um, one of the things that I want to make sure to convey to you is uh, don't make. I mean, we talk about this a lot, don't we? Don't make assumptions about uh, businesses until you get a chance to work with them. I know that there are a lot of you listening to this and going, oh, B2B sounds so boring. It sounds terrible. I would never want to work in a B2B. You don't know that. Um, there are, I found that, that just about every client um, can be interesting once you start to dig in and really explore what it is that their that their company does, what it is that their products or their services do, and what the needs are of their target audience. Who is their target audience? What are their challenges? What are they trying to accomplish that they haven't been able to? And how does this product or service help them accomplish it? When you start digging into that, uh, it can be really, really interesting on top of the fact that you get the opportunity to learn about things that you might not have ever learned about before. You know, I used to um, do do work years ago now, but work for a, an aerospace company. And yeah, the learning curve was a little bit steeper than maybe some of my consumer uh, clients. But of course, I also charged for that. It was all built into the price. Um, but it was also really fascinating, and I learned all kinds of interesting things. And at the time, I was much, uh, much more able to to keep up a good my good end of the conversation uh, about aerospace and 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 engine parts and all that kind of thing. Uh, so my point is is that don't make any assumptions about a B2B business and assuming that you won't like to do it or assuming it's gonna be so boring or anything like that because you don't know that. Um, and often just the, one of the great things about what we do for a living is the, the digging into and figuring out the motivations and figuring out the desires of the target audience and figuring out how best to help them understand that, that, that the best solution is what your client has. Um, it's interesting. It's an interesting puzzle. And even when it's a B2B company where you think, oh, the product is so boring, digging into all of this can make it a really, really interesting project. Um, and sometimes even more interesting than, than some of the consumer stuff. When the consumer stuff is, is more straightforward and kind of meh. sometimes it, it can be uh, a little bit less fun because there's not as much figuring out there's not as much strategy you know selling lipsticks yes there it's it can be fun and it can be kind of glamorous to be like look I work for you know say L'Oreal now look my my ad is in print um not me an example uh, but it can really be the digging in and the thinking and the strategy and not some consumer goods that you're going to have a little bit less of that uh so my point is, uh, if you have the opportunity to work with both 
be, have the opportunity to work with B2B clients, take it, take that opportunity, it's fascinating. And as you know, the best way to grow as a copywriter is to develop your depth and breadth of skill and experience. So you want to have both B2B and B2C clients in your portfolio because then, wow, it really shows what you can do for all types of clients and all types of different voices. And the fact that, I mean, when I would show um, clients my, my aerospace, aerospace pieces, which would be next to like fashion stuff, it was impressive. And it also showed that I was able to learn things that clearly, not clearly, you know, they could, but, but that just didn't necessarily, I wasn't born with knowledge about the aerospace industry. Um, and it, that demonstrates the, the ability to be able to, to again, at the time, uh, but the ability to be able to speak eloquently about the aerospace industry showed that I was re I dig in and I learn everything I can about my clients. And that's what clients, that's another thing that clients want. So I would strongly consider you look at some, look at pitching some B2B clients along with your B2C clients, because there is a ton of opportunity opportunity there. Um, they can often get overlooked when people are pitching, which means there might even be a little extra opportunity. Um, and it can be such a great, uh, this is the third time I've said opportunity in a row, I heard it, I heard it. But it can be a great opportunity to, to really learn and develop your skills as a copywriter. So that's what I have for you today. Add some B2B companies to your potential pitch list, and I will catch you guys later. Bye, everybody.